All right, here we go. We're going to do our first video on the new court using Ernie and the fixed point drill, the first fixed point drill, fixed point one. And go through some of the parameters, show how they change the shot, and then we'll move Ernie around a little bit on the court and show some different things we can do with just this one drill. One of the things I recommend to everybody when they first get Ernie, especially if they've never used a ball machine, is to put you know 100 or so balls in Ernie, leave your paddle on the side of the court, take your phone, go to the back of the court where Ernie's going to be throwing the balls to, start the fixed drill, the, so the very first drill, and then adjust one parameter at a time, a little bit, and see what changes it makes. Then go back, reset that parameter, change the next parameter, and go through all of the parameters until you see how each one individually impacts the shot. And then you can go back, probably after 100 balls, fill it up, and do a couple parameters at a time, maybe speed and top spin, or height and top spin, or frequency and speed, etc. Uh, it really is important that you get used to how the parameters work and how they affect the flight of the ball uh, before you start jumping into all the drills. So strongly recommend you do that. Uh, with that said, let's get started and uh, we'll just use Ernie in his default mode. So you can see on the screen the frequencies at 7, the speeds at 60, and we have no spin. Uh, it's going to hit roughly in the middle of the court, so if we start it up, uh, Ernie gives you a few seconds to get yourself prepared, and there you go. And you should be able to see where these balls are going. And now we'll add a little speed. We'll just make it a little faster. And you can see they're coming a little further back towards the baseline. Now we'll add a little top spin, just a little bit. And now you'll see they'll Hopefully we have some more training balls in there so you can really see the top spin. Now if I want to go to the left a little bit, I can simply move the yoke. And now he's going to the left. If I want to make it a little higher, I can move the yoke and now you can see he's a little higher. I'll hit stop. And so that's sort of the simple parameter changes. I had it going pretty fast, so I'm going to reduce the frequency. We'll go down to four. That's a pretty good frequency. And then I'm going to raise the speed to about 100. And I'm going to make the top spin, I'm going to make it five. So now again, we'll hit start. And it may hit the net. It may fly too high, so I'll adjust it after we see a ball or two. Yeah, it's a little, oh yeah, it's a little high. So we'll reduce the speed a little bit. Uh, I still have it up too high, so let's drop the yoke too low. There we go. Now we got it just going over the net, just exactly right over the net. And we'll move him to the left, getting towards the center, and then I'll move him a little bit beyond that. There we go. So that's just playing with the simple parameters, up, down, right, left, frequency, speed, and spin. They all impact the shot. Uh, up and down certainly do. Speed and spin absolutely do. Uh, frequency only affects how fast the balls are dropping through the hopper and being shot out the front. So if you want a ball every four or five seconds, you'd move, you'd move it to, say, eight. If you want them to come out much, uh, I'm sorry, you'd move it to about two. If you want them to come out as fast as possible, move it all the way over to 10. That's about one ball every 0.8 seconds. That's pretty fast, but if you're practicing hand battles at the NBZ, uh, that's, that's not necessarily a bad speed. If the slowest speed, you move it all the way to the left one, and I'll show you what that looks like. So I've hit start, it'll take a few seconds. And now that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's actually about eight seconds between shots. So it gives you plenty of time to reset and 
get yourself in position for the next shot. So we'll let it shoot one more and we'll stop it. So this is a simple drill. It's our first recording here in the, in the roost. Um, we just finished our court, you know, really, really two weeks ago, but we really haven't played on it but once. Uh, but now we're all ready to create videos. These will get better as time goes on and I get better at using these video controls and editing, et cetera, but at least you guys have something uh, to sort of play around with. Uh, okay, if you have any questions, let me know. If you have any recommendations for other videos, uh, let me know. I will come back tomorrow and do a couple more where I move Ernie around uh, using the fixed point. We'll do some cross-court cross, cross court dinks. Uh, we'll do some lobs, and, you know, and other shots like that. So stay tuned. Thank you.